Okay, welcome back to part three <coughs> for LEDs and Miracle Mud. There have been a few additions to the tank. I uh, added this neon green torch coral and what else did I add? Oh, yeah, this neon green hammer coral. And <clears throat> I believe that's it. Um, I also added a uh, blue back ras, fairy ras. He's, he's always hiding. He only comes out when it's uh, time to eat, which is fine. I mean, at least he's eating and not dying. But... Uh, um, just to kind of go over the corals here, what's going on. Um, we have, I moved this coral to this spot here. It looks to be doing a little bit better. Get a little bit bigger. This one is actually recovering. I don't remember from the last video, but uh, it was like just this whole thing turned black and then it also all of a sudden started to recover, which is great. So. That's another good thing that's going on. I added this torch coral. It has two heads on it. It looks like this back here is about to split to be three heads. And I have it on the same side in the other one. And this one here is also producing a lot more heads on it. <coughs> it goes up onto the top and down the front of the stick there. So that's, that's going great. The Xenia still doing its thing, still getting big. That's awesome too. That actually, Xenia is actually flowing through down into here, inside this rock here. So it's, it's, it's spreading around. People say it's a weed and now I see why. Um, <coughs> this Monty cap. If you, I don't know if it's gonna focus in or not, but on top of this, it's got some brown slime on it and I haven't seen much growth out of it after the fact so I don't know if it's because of the algae on there or what but it's uh, you know hasn't gotten any bigger this rock here is a coralline rock and I have one there and one there to help spread some of the coralline algae I got basically none except for what's on this rock it's been in for a week almost a week now to kind of help spread out but uh, so hopefully it does a trick because as of now it's it's sure isn't uh, getting any coralline on here. Um, this coral back here is doing great. Same thing, not many more heads, but uh, still going doing good. This frog spawn, that head on the right here, not happening, not doing good. Don't know why. Um, started uh, spot feeding it, and it's still, you know. Closing up there, starting to callus up, calcify itself up there. Don't know why. Again, there's a neon hammer. Here's my green star starting to spread along this rock here. Looking good. This buddy here is he's doing great. He started out with those three heads here. He's probably got a total of six. There's like two on top, one on the side. He's doing good, doing good. Uh, I've actually moved the Duncan from over here. Where is it? From like right there to up here to help see if it would do any better. It was starting to look kind of kind of small, not really extending itself out anymore. I don't know why. So I just kind of moved it and readjusted it. So hopefully it'll do a little bit better there. But underneath here, do you see these little cotton ball looking things? Right underneath the uh, frag plug. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know if that's an egg sac for some kind of bad bad worms or bugs or something. But uh, <clears throat> if anybody knows, that'd be great because I got like three or two underneath here too. And I don't know what that is from. Um, so any kind of help would be great on that. Here's my uh, assorted leather. This thing is excellent. Expanded. This uh, blue hammer, it's uh, not as expanded as I'd like it to be. I don't know if it's too much flow or if it's just, uh, you know, something in the tank. 
I don't know. Um, the mushrooms, they're doing great. This one's expanded to here. There's also another one on the side of that one growing. And there's also one behind this one. I don't know if it's going to focus in. I don't know if you can see that. Right behind there. That's another one growing in. These guys are doing good. That one's doing good. And then we got my fairy mushroom. Now, this is kind of a cool thing too. If you see that red-like different type of uh, coral that's growing alongside and then up and through this rock from what I understand that'll go all over the place and I don't know if that's good or bad but uh, you know that's what's happening with it and I got my I think they're called midnight zoes that's doing fine getting more heads this thing is still doing good getting more heads um, I also had you know when this thing when this thing died, the first round, I cut it, and there was one good piece left on it. And I put it back behind that rock. And now it's starting to attach itself to the rock and expand and grow up, which is great. So I'm glad things are recovering and going good. The other question that I have here is, you see all these like circle type Worms, I guess they're called. I can't get it to focus in any better than that. But uh, are those good? Are those bad? Is it part of the, the cycle? <laughs> and then I got some hair algae I gotta scrape off once I clean that back glass. I didn't clean the back glass because I wanted you guys to take a look and let me know if that's something good or bad. Um, the sump. The sump is still fine. Um, I got a lot of this cyano bacteria, I guess. I think that's what it is, because I trimmed the crap out of my uh, Cheeto and um, tried to take some of that stuff off, and it still grows back. So, you know, any kind of advice, you guys could let me know on how to take care of that, but there's some big-ass copepods. And, and they're all over the place in this stuff. But this this might be a bit better, better spot to focus in on one of those worms. Maybe not. There's like a circle, a white circle, with a worm on it. <laughs> I don't know if it's a worm or not, but that's what they look like. Um, so yeah, that's the tank as of right now. Um, I did lose one antheist, one female antheist. Um, kind of like from the start, it, it seemed like it wasn't really eating much. And, uh, you know, it lasted for as long as it lasted, and I think it died of starvation because it wasn't eating itself. I mean, nothing from as far as wrong with the tank goes, but uh, I think that's what happened. Sometimes you just can't carry a certain fish, or certain fish don't do good in tanks. Um, so I guess that concludes the update here. Any kind of, uh, oh yeah, this cap is doing great. It's actually uh, getting a little bit wider and good color, everything else like that. So yeah, uh, I can't think of anything else that uh, is going on with this tank right now. I haven't, I'm gonna try and look at getting some tangs eventually. I am um, thinking about a uh, Nassau tang uh, Red Sea sailfin tang, and or you know a chevron tang, something something cool. I don't have a quarantine tank at the moment, so I'm really worried about just you know going to the pet store, seeing that nothing's on the fish, and then adding it, and then all of a sudden I got ick or something like that, which would be terrible. So I haven't you know bought a tang or anything yet, but uh, I'm also worried about loading the tank up with too many fish, and then my nitrates get a little bit crazy. So. Um, but you know it's 185 gallons uh, but again no skimmer and uh, that always worries me as far as taking care of nitrates and overall the, the you know water always being kind of cloudy and and whatnot so um, I guess that's it thanks a lot for watching